Boston. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. Michigan State's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they fall on the loose ball. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Knocked out of bounds after the catch. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. Green nine, green. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Second and eight. Ball on the 45-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, second down. Quick after the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Not enough strength on that pass, and it hits the turf. Oh, boy, he wishes he had that play to do over. Could have been big yardage there. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Michigan State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. quarterback I think could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz that way he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front that time a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback so the sack makes this a second and long got it to the senior
throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. Fourth down. Tackle made at the 37. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Michigan State is up a field goal. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. And two. Let's go. Has it to the senior. Tackle at the 49. Number 24 makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. First down. Two down, two down. Check 83, ball. It's the tailback. And they make the stop at the 48. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it second and seven. From the 48-yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And it goes out of bounds at the five-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 3 nothing, Michigan State. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. The seven yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. They line up at the seven. Third down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Let's go. The defender had it and then dropped it. That makes it fourth and eight. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Michigan State has a three-point lead. the middle but met in the backfield. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. From the 47 yard line. Second down. And two. And three. Fifteen. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. Complete brought down, nothing to do. 
Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That brings us to 10. He lets it fly. Missed him. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The Spartans get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Michigan State is up by three. Red two, yellow three, hit, yellow three. He lets it fly. Nice grab on the play. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. You know, the play action pass that time delivers a huge play. And I think the defense was out of position. There was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the outside, and they took advantage of it. From the 33-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike's 34. Mike's 34. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. From the 28-yard line, third down. 34 Tries to thread the needle, it's picked off. That's a great tackle at the 13. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. They line up at the 13. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Six yards that time on the pass play. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. And he just gets rid of it. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. The Spartans will use their first time out of the half, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. 
It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. And he can't hang on to the ball. Brought down at the 46. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State holds a field goal lead. He flings it right. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Let's go, hey. Go, Mike, Mike, go, here we go, here we go. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle made at the 38. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Where? That'll make it second and inches. Go ahead, Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Gaining 15 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. From the 14 yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Go ahead, two. Go. Go. Makes it to the 12 yard line. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Dog four, blue four, blue four. Now he's scrambling, decides to take it himself, and he's got it, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 54-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 10 nothing, and he's tackled at the 20-yard line. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. run there. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 10-0, Michigan State. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm not sure many people saw that one coming. This team was supposed to take... I thought this was your lock of the week, Reese Davis. Uh, it was, and that shows you why I should leave the picking to you, because uh, <laughs> this, this was not a good selection. I didn't think there was any way that this team would come into halftime and be down by two scores. Uh, nobody did. I mean, I, I don't see how you, how you got to this point. I, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what we just saw, and... We sit here all week and we break down strengths and weaknesses and they're definitely better and stronger across the board, but they haven't found a way to put things together. And, you know, you get 30 minutes at the half. It's time to give the, you know, rally the troops speech and get everybody going and, and try to understand that you got to come out in the second half and you can't be flat. You can't take this opponent for granted because you've already dug yourself a pretty big hole through the first half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. Michigan State's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. 
But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19. complete and taken down immediately. That's a gain of six on the play. play. That, that brings him second, second and five. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Mike 34, Mike 34. Breaks one and scores. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. They hook up over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the free game that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. From the 46-yard line, first down. Zips it to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 41 yard line. That's good to have a lot of your lusts. That makes it second and six. Tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. He's tackled around the 38 yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Pitch out. Got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. On that one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. the stop right around the 12 yard line a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver we've got a first and 10 ball on the 12 yard line he gets out to about the 12 yard line 
That makes it second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Runs in and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Third down. Third down again. Quit just yet. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. So a nine-play, 73-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Spartans really had a tough first half, and I got to give them credit for hanging in there and uh, turning things around here in the third quarter. You're right, Brad. They could have just shut it down as bad as they looked in the first half, but great perseverance by the entire offensive unit. It's paid off. Back-to-back -back drives now. They've got points up on the board. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three. Pick. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third and long now after the sack. Brought down right around the 16-yard line. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He dropped it. And he's taken down at the 48. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 49-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it third and three. to about the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line, first down. They'll run it. Makes it out to about the 20. to be a pretty good ball game and we've got one quarter to go the Spartans with a 10-point lead
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Now he's got room to run. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here we go. They go with him again, and he'll be taken down behind the line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stops before he even gets going. Larry, Larry, Larry. Let's go. Hey, 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 Mike 40, Mike 40. Hey. Hey. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. Oh, and a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. One of the things a quarterback's looking for before the ball is snapped on a post route is to see if he has one safety in the middle of the field. Because with one safety, you can use your eyes to move that safety and then throw back the other way for the touchdown. And I thought the quarterback that time did a really good job of managing that safety and eventually That's making the throw play. for the touchdown. The ruling, the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. So the call on the field stands. And he hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 52-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I think we're getting to the point of who's going to crack first in this game. It's kind of a game of chicken. Which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses? Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Michigan State has a three-point lead. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And he hits him hard at the 18-yard line. That makes it fourth and nine. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He's tackled at the 47. The Spartans kept climbing and scratching their way back in this football game. You can never count anybody out, I guess. Isn't it amazing to see what momentum can do in college football? This team right now has captured momentum. It's on their side. Now can they ride that wave to the end and try to win this game? So the option keeper goes for about a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 46. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down at the 41. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Third and 
five coming up. Ball on the 41 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he is drilled at the 49. That makes it fourth and 12. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. Dog four. Orange three. Orange three. Easy. Easy. Flare. Flare. Today. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Loss of about six. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Looking for the corner. It's complete. Here he goes. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Just under two to go in the game. Black five, black five. Tackle made the 39-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 39. He tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. Boston College has called their final timeout. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for the That'll make it fourth and two. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number 10, the intended receiver. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Under a minute left in the game. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. He's under some heat. He airs it out. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory.
this might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. We had a fight to the finish here today. 17-14, Michigan State. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.